My name is Robin Iman. I'm a special education teacher at Houghton High School. Um, I've been teaching for almost 15 years. Uh, the group that I teach is uh, Significant Disabilities. Uh, the class you're going to watch is um, several boys that <clears throat> are grades 9 and 10. Um, and their, their disabilities are, are different, but overall they are uh, several grade levels below where they um, should be. What we've been working on right now is um, constructed response. Next year, um, the 11th graders are going to be taking the uh, Leap Connect, which has um, a constructed response portion on there. And so we've been working on sentence writing, um, reading a passage, getting the inferences from it, and being able to uh, formulate some good sentences on what they read, um, what their, uh, the content of the, the, the paper, the passage that they read. And what they're struggling with right now is the just basic sentence for, form as far as, you know, subject-verb agreement, um, capitalization, punctuation, run-on sentences, um, so, and then in addition to that, several of them are having trouble with reading it and then relaying back to me what they read um, as far as, you know, what does that passage mean, the why questions, they are really struggling with, with that. And so part of my struggle is finding a way to get them to tell me why something happened. Um, the other part that we're working on is getting them to talk to one another. Um, asking each other questions, getting a response from each other, and that's part of their disabilities is just not being able to have that social uh, response to one another um, and being able to formulate a question. Or sometimes when I ask a question or they're asked a question, the answer they give has nothing to do with what you ask them. It's random. Um, or it could be something they decide to just read out of the, the passage instead of thinking about what they were asked and give you back a, um, quest, a response such like an, an inference. What does that mean to them? Really struggling with that. So those are some things we're working on. You'll notice we're doing also um, using technology in their lesson, um, learning to use their email, learning to use the internet to do some research. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today is constructed response and research. Okay guys, did each of you get your email pulled up? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you clicked on the website that I gave you? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Have you made yourself familiar <coughs> with the website? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is I gave you a Thanksgiving um, traditions project. We're going to find the information on this this uh, website. We're going to write it on here and we're going to write them in complete sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when would we need a good sentence, Logan? When would we need a good sentence? It needs to be a beginning, the middle, and end. Okay, when would you need to write a good sentence? When you write it mm. somewhere like in a place like at the store. Okay. At home. Okay. At school. At school. Mm -hmm. Who might read your sentences, Matthew? Mm -hmm. Family. Okay. People. Okay. Employees. <coughs> okay, good. So maybe you're at work. Mm -hmm. We talked about work. Mm -hmm. Need to write a good sentence for work. Mm -hmm. Writing a good sentence for email. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And remember we talked about the Leap Connect that you're going to take that test and you're going to have to write a complete, complete, sentence. complete sentence. sentence in constructed response, right? right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to um, work on that. Okay, so let's look at the first question it says, what is a tradition? Okay, mm -hmm. so you need to go to that page, the page I gave you. Okay, so go back to that. Okay, so let's go up to, let's find it. Okay, it's probably not that far up. Okay, so what is a tradition? Okay, okay did you find it? Um, no. Okay, I don't think so. okay. 
What do we think of when we think of a, bit of a tradition? Something that you do all the time? Um, a tradition is, it's like a day where people who celebrate everything, like dancing and eating dinners and music and stuff. Okay, good. So it's something you do all the time. So let's write that in, in a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so I'll write it. I'll help you write it up here on the board. And then you're going to copy that onto your, your paper. Okay, so tell me your complete sentence, Logan. The tradition is... A tradition... Was... Is... Say so tradition is... A tradition is... A day for special days like holidays and like dancing, music, and eating food. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of different things. Okay. So why don't you ask Devin what he thinks? What do you, what do you think is a, a tradition, Devin? Um, a tradition is eating food, okay. like jerky, okay, good. mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and rolls. Okay, so maybe the Thanksgiving tradition would be the food that you eat? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, if I had to know what a, what a tradition is, I would say a tradition is something that you do every year. Okay. Over and over and over again. Okay, good. So we've talked about food, we talked about something you do all the time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what do we want to say a tradition is? I'll say a tradition is a special day for families who do, it over, do things over and over again. Okay, so how about instead of a special day, how about a special time or a special occasion? Okay. Would that be right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A special time for what? Mm -hmm. for, for family. Okay, what else? <coughs> and friends who, who did their own things over and over again. Okay. All right, so let's go on to what um, Matthew said to finish it out. It's, tradition is a special time for for people to do things over and over again. Okay. A special time for <coughs> people to how about let's say repeat. special celebration. What do y'all think about that sentence? Does that sound like what you're wanting to say? Okay, now then, we're going to skip down to what are the nine Thanksgiving traditions? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. One through nine? Yes. Okay, now on the, on the website that was in your email, yes. okay, if you'll look, there's, they're numbered. One, and then if you'll scroll up, <coughs> Devin, can you do that for me? Look, you should have one. Okay, you see this one? What does that say? Retelling the or original Thanksgiving story. Good, so that would be number one right here. Okay, then you're going to scroll <coughs> and find number two. Adding a fast centerpiece to the table. Very good. Okay, so I want you to find all nine, okay, and I want you to write each nine down there. One through nine. One through nine. I want you to find them in your website. Find each of the nine traditions. If you're having trouble, I want you to check your friend. Check your partner. Okay. Okay, guys.
Um, I want you to look at each other's papers and make sure that what they had is correct. So switch papers. <coughs> switch papers with your partner. Okay, switch papers. And I want you to check their work. Check one through nine and make sure that it's correct. Make sure they got them right. If they're not, then I want you to tell them nicely. If they look good, I want you to put a check mark next to one through nine. I want you to put a check mark by them if it looks right. I think this one is wrong. Okay, we're checking one through nine. Okay. okay. Checking one through nine, not this part. Check this part. Okay. If it looks okay, then I want you to put a check mark. Did theirs look okay, Devin? Yes. Okay. If it looks good, then I want you to put a check mark <coughs> down here if all of those look correct. Okay, just hold on to it. Okay, once you've checked it, you can hand their paper back. Make sure you got your paper. Okay, so I want you to ask your partner, ask your partner to tell you one of the Thanksgiving traditions. Okay, we'll start with Logan. Logan, ask your partner to pick one of the Thanksgiving traditions and tell you about it. Okay, Trey, what is one Thanksgiving tradition would you pick? A little break in your wishbone. Okay. If, uh, if I had to choose a one Thanksgiving tradition, <clears throat> it would be playing my own football game. Okay, I want you to ask one of your friends what they're, which one they would You mean pick. classmates? Classmates. Pick one of your classmates to tell you. Hmm. Here it is. Here it is. Ask him the question, baby. What um, is the one Thanksgiving tradition that you like to do? A tradition is a special time for people to repeat a special <sighs> celebration. Okay, so re-asking the question that you're trying to get from him. Let me put it this way. A tradition is a special time for people to repeat Excuse a me? special celebration. <laughs> okay, Devin, listen to, listen to Matthew what he's asking you. You're not answering his question. What? is one Thanksgiving tradition that you like to do. Adding a feasting centipede to the table. Okay, very good. All right, so Devin, that's what we're gonna work on is when Matthew asks you a question, I need you to think about what he's asking you. Okay, so tomorrow we'll work on some more sentence writing and we'll look at your read works tomorrow and look at those constructive responses that y'all done. Okay? Okay. okay. After uh, the lesson from today on some research and constructive response, I think the, the students understand why they, they need sentences and when they're going to use them, but trying to get them to take their idea, put it into <coughs> a complete sentence, is still something that they're having a hard time with. So a lot of it is still me helping them come up with the idea and then putting it into the correct form. So we're gonna to continue to work on that. We are a work in progress. We've been working on this. That's a goal that we're gonna continue. So my objective is, is, is a work in progress. It's not met today. It probably won't be met tomorrow, but that's something that we're working towards. Um, I think as far as for me as the teacher, some role play with them. Um, when I give them a situation, they give it back to me and we role play back and forth what I want from them answering questions, asking questions. That's something they're struggling with as well. And then how to take that constructed um, criticism. We're going to be working on that, that also. So... Um, working on constructed response, continuing that, doing a little bit of role play, um, and then 
just getting them to try to come up with their their own ideas and put it into correct sentences we're gonna keep working on that thank you